Hello and welcome to Stock Ross Maths key skill video on calculating a value after compound percentage decrease. We've got this problem here. A polar bear population is currently 12,000. If the population declines by 4% each year, how many polar bears will there be in five years? Now in the previous video, we saw that to find a value after a compound percentage decrease, um, we start with the original value and we multiply by some decimal multiplier, I'll explain that in a second, to the power of the number of years or the number of months or whatever the time unit is. And that D is a decimal multiplier. Now let's think what this decimal multiplier is. The decimal multiplier is what you times by each time to, in this case, decrease by 4% each year. Now, if you think about this, everything starts 100%. Now, if it was to decrease by 4%, the population would now be at 96% of its value, so slightly less than what it originally was. And then we turn that into a decimal. Now, to turn from a percentage to a decimal, we just divide by 100. And if we move the decimal point two places, 96% as a decimal is 0.96. And what this decimal multiplier means is that if we multiply by 0.96, that will decrease our value by 4%. So, if we have the 12,000 polar bears, the original value, and we multiply by the decimal multiplier, which was 0.96, to the power of how many years there are, or how many months, or whatever, um, so it's five years, so we want to apply that 4% decrease five times, then we put that into our calculator, and that gives us 9,784 bears to the nearest bear.